The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today, we're using the stock Ableton plugin that bridges the gap between the analog and the computer effect worlds. I'm talking about Ableton's external audio effect. This plugin doesn't have any effects in itself. It's just a way to set up signal routing so that your computer can use your external effect as an insert. Here are my half note echoes and my slap echoes here set up on this vocal. Back for the hits game. I would like to add my reverb pedal, which is a Mercury 7 by Maris. All I have to do to add this to my vocal chain is drop it here into my audio effects rack. We just have to tell it where we have our output coming from, which on my Apollo is 5.6. And then once it hits the pedal and comes back to the Apollo as an input, what's that plugged into? And for me, that's 3.4. And it also gives the option to invert your phase in case the pedal has a phase inversion that you don't want. If for whatever reason you have a gear that spits out a little bit of latency, you can accommodate for it here. So now let's check out this vocal through the reverb pedal. Thinking back for the hits again. It was all just a good time for you. Little now we have it with a big dream. an input gain. So if we only want to automate certain words through the reverb pedal, we could do that right here and not have to do a whole bunch of takes of us turning the knobs on the pedal to get it perfect. Thinking back for the hits again. It was all just a good time for you. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to gallop. These lyrics right here. Big dream. Big dream. That's a good that's a good phrase to put through the reverb. I'll do a little slope down like this. And I'm gonna hold command and just slide this one out so it doesn't cut on like that. Little puppet with a big dream. Hey. Got a one way to California. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so poppin' your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plucks is available now only at holoops.com. Now one thing I'm really curious about is what happens when you freeze and flatten this. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. So we've just frozen our signal. Let's create an audio channel beneath it and drag it down and see if our guitar pedal audio is in there. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Hey. Got a one. The other way to set up your signal routing with using guitar pedals is instead of bouncing it out in real time like it makes you do it, you could just record in the one little spot where you know you have it. So I remember selecting three, four as my input, and you could just do a little recording right here. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back in my long. Boom, and that way when you freeze and flatten it, you don't need to have the audio effect there. You could just create a separate, a separate stem. But that's just two different ways of using the external audio effect as a shortcut for some very advanced signal routing. I hope you guys find some use out of your old guitar pedals and analog effects that you may have found very inexpensively because these are some of the coolest sounding and most inexpensive analog effects you can get your hands on. Well, there you have it. That is my complete sauce guide to Ableton's external audio effect. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful and maybe you just found a new use for some old guitar pedals that you found laying around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.